We are going to create a frame animation today. Animated arcade GIFs, animate buttons, joysticks, and the screen of an arcade machine using the Photoshop timeline. If you take a look at the description below, there are starter files for you to download. As you create GIFs, I highly recommend setting your brush mode to dissolve that you can maintain a high quality GIF at the end. Make sure to go to window and timeline and you can pull it up. I'm actually gonna drag it and hover it right here at the bottom. We're going to use the group and things here that we have in our file for this animation. Delete our info group just because I don't think I'm going to need it personally. And I've just dragged my background layer up into the main arcade machine group. And this is gonna serve as our first frame. We have our frame here. Everything is in its own little state here. The first thing we're gonna do is start altering the blast to start altering our joystick and then our button press. But one of the more difficult things, especially if you are not used to animation, is kind of keeping in mind a staggering of sorts when it comes to different movements and elements of gesture within the piece. Duplicate our group. This is going to be our first frame. Control or Command J. This is going to be our second frame. Open this and I'm going to grab our blast. Put this blast on a clipping mask like so. And I will Control or Command T. I will just make this a little bit larger. It's going to expand and implode. Go ahead and hit enter and leave that. I'll duplicate it again. Here we are going to move two different elements. Move our blast again. Let's go ahead and make it a little larger because we want this to expand as we go along in our piece. So I will hit enter and just leave that a little bit larger. And now we're going to move our joystick. And this is where our interesting little tidbit or pro tip for uses for our free transform comes in. Change the rotation axis of our free transform region. Control T, hold option and click to add the new rotation axis to your free transform if you are using Mac. Click it here. Place our new axis point and now I can move this back. Let's go ahead and rotate that back like so. Enter. We have the first movement of our joystick. Control or Command J to duplicate for our fourth frame. Continue with our blast expansion. Let's make it a little bit bigger there. Love it. Move our joystick because we need to move our joystick. Control or Command T to free transform. Hold Alt or Option and click the base here of our joystick to change our rotation axis. Bring it back to our center here and I will hit enter. And then we are going to start in with our button press. So let's go ahead and come over to our button, unhide our, our button in the upwards position so it looks like it has been pressed. This frame we will have added in a third gesture. Duplicate again for our fifth frame and let's come into our blast. Let's make our blast even larger, like so. Starting to take up our screen. We can come back into our joystick, control T, we will hold Alt and click our axis point and then rotate it forward. We're gonna wait a frame to mess with our button. Close that, Control or Command J and open this. And then we can mess with our button. We'll put our button back in the upward position. We will move our joystick back to its center position. I'm kind of, I've got my little preview for the degrees of rotation there that I'm kind of looking at to make sure it's placed in the right place. Enter, and we will increase our blast yet again. So now we have our different frames, and I suppose we could add another frame if we wanted to, just to expand so that our entire screen is yellow if we want. It's actually not bad. It's actually not bad with the detail in the back. Hopefully you folks can see that. There is my little GIF set. Adios, folks.